Hey, 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 what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the show by the MDRM boys where we talk about the Bethesda E3 press conference. That shit was sick. It was tight. Yeah, it was tight. I'm not even going to go around the table and ask what you guys felt about it because I feel like we're all pretty fine. I know, well, Carl, you didn't. You haven't played Evil Within. You haven't played no, Wolfenstein. No, Wolfenstein. You should. I, will, you really I want to play Wolfenstein. Just to clarify, there is one or two games already. Oh, uh, but, oh, one. There's one game. But there's a DLC for the one. But it's like a it's like a pretty extended DLC to the one yeah. where it's almost a sequel. I but see. It's like it's like three four hours long. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, but um, anyways. I no. feel like I'm gonna go play it. You should. <laughs> I haven't played old. old Blood yet. I played a bit of it, but I haven't finished it. Mm. I should go back and play it. I got time this summer, so. Um, anyways, no I, intro. Yeah, let's skip the intro here. Of course, Terra Spoli, pseudo host, but my boys carry it over here. Carl. You see. And Tyler. Nice. That's gross. Suck. That's pretty dope. That was that. Yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> All right, I like that. Let's run from top to bottom with this bad boy. It's pretty yeah. abbreviated press conference, forty minutes long. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty Tight. sure on nice. the dot. Dude, I felt like, like after Very good. the Microsoft. Oh my god! And how long <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah, long. So I'm not talking shit, but like yeah. it was long, and yeah. this was just like boom. Yeah. To Very the point. abbreviated. Yeah. Had, it is all killer, no filler. Yeah. Game to yeah. game to game. You know what they, I mean? They spent and a little bit too long on Elder Scrolls Legends. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah, yeah. But they yeah. were announcing something new at the end. Blah, 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 but it yeah. was, I think Elder Scrolls Legends only took so long because it was a transition into, oh, hey, it's Skyrim coming to, coming to uh, Which, Elder yeah, Scrolls Legends. Like, and guess what else is coming to? Nintendo Switch. Finally, and they... They showed yeah. that shit. Oh, my yeah. lord. They, like, actually went on it. Yeah, because yeah. they talked about it back when the Switch came out, mm-hmm. and then it kind of disappeared for a while. And it was while. in that first trailer a yeah. little bit. But yeah. But they, they've made a full trailer yep. here, and we have the fucking uh, Tamriel Link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which is dude, dope. They let, he looks beefy. He does. Look he beefy. does look beefy. It looks <laughs> weird. It looks really weird. But I like his like childish garb. Yes. Just like, like, dude, <laughs> um, I loved. I didn't think they would let them do it, but they totally let them use the dude, dude, dude. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And the master sword. But and we, everything. Yeah. we know what's gonna come out this year, but we don't know when, right? Yeah, we fall didn't. this year. Fall. Yeah. So I'm gonna assume. It's dope. They're not. Gonna, I mean, they're gonna want to put it around uh, September, maybe before all the big games come out. Yeah, Bethesda yeah. Yeah. is fucking like their fall lineup looks Killer. great. Now yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to buy a Switch it's and, and then get Skyrim it. and are. play a brand new character it's all over are. again. You should start scoping out a Switch right now because they're still kind of hard to get. Yeah, we they get are. One. I, I, I'll tell you when one goes in stock. I got alerts. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got alerts. But um, anyways, no. Let's start from top to bottom here. Yeah. Uh, Doom VFR. Doot. VFR. Looked cool. Yes. It uh, looked like the mechanic of moving was like hopping from enemy to enemy, mm. which is a really smart and intuitive way to do it that I never really thought of. Oh, oh. good call. Good call. Good thing we only got a couple minutes into that. Yeah. Sorry off. about that uh, yeah. AC noise. We got it really bad in that one video, but... Oh, yeah, we bad. fools. It's okay. I'll, I'll put music over top of that part. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, no. So, Doom VFR. Yeah. You said you assume it stands for virtual fucking reality. Yeah, much of course like it is. BFG, yeah. Um, the BFG edition of Big Doom. fucking giant. Yeah. But um, I, I, I really do think that looks cool a uh, really intuitive way of movement it looks like yep. yeah. um a lot of interaction with all the different uh, computers and stuff which mm-hmm. is you know that's the fun stuff in vr like mm-hmm. it's just the little things you know like oh no i can fuck with that i can look the at the computer oh, that's cool mm-hmm. um and then uh fallout 4 vr which mm-hmm. needs no explanation because it's literally fallout 4 in vr yeah. pretty cool yeah. yeah see i like i said i don't believe that either of them are going to be on psvr mm-hmm. i think they'll come eventually um, but Doom would be so good with the aim controller. Yeah, It'd it be would be. So Ooh. I just feel cool. like that is so, like that's such an intuitive move for them to put something like that yeah. with the aim controller. Like yeah. I feel like they have to. And, and I bet Fallout you Sony 4. Sony's totally making those conversations because those games look great. Yeah. In VR. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I think they look really good. Do you think uh, the, well, the aim controller? Do you think that'd be kind of more or less like used for any shooting? VR game, or they should be. It should, should be, be. Yeah. but yeah, it's, it's probably awesome. not going to yeah. for everything. But yeah, I think it should be. Mm. It's like, yeah. it's perfect. It, dude, dude, it's fucking awesome. It feels great. Yeah, yeah. I think it's sick. It feels so much cooler, you know. Yeah, the, yeah, dude, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, if we're shooting down fucking demons and shit, dude, I, the best, the, the best dude. explanation for that thing that <laughs> I can give is that it makes a game that would otherwise be subpar, Farpoint, 
awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Yep. It really does. Anyways, uh, moving on, because, you know, obviously both of those things are not very mass appeal. Not everybody has VR yet. Don't want to spend too much time on it. Yeah, but, I mean, a lot of people, and a lot of people yeah. already know Doom. And yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's what you would expect. Uh, so next they showed the Elder Scrolls card game, which is fine, mm. and then Elder Scrolls Online. Not None of us play that. We can't really speak to it. Yeah. We're not really the guys to be looking towards for this kind of thing. I mean, Morrowind is cool because, like, like the, the one thing from those reaction videos, oh, the yeah. vignette that they mm-hmm. showed... Uh, was cool that they were like, yo, they're not going to have the fucking bear, which there was like a, like a very famous bear in uh, Morrowind. Uh, okay. And yeah. then they showed him and they were like, oh! Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they understand. I feel like this press conference, uh, more than any other press conference mm-hmm. I've seen besides Sony's uh, last year, shows that they understand the audience and they don't mm-hmm. have to stand up there and be like, we understand you. Yeah. We know what <laughs> We you know want. the game. We are we, the gamers. Yeah, we just are do the game. Yeah, no, yeah. they just do it. They just fucking send it, dude. Yeah. Like, and it uh, Hills every time like they're they're really doing the best on these press conferences mm-hmm. so far it's They've like done the difference the best. between hillary and obama i mean come yeah on. <laughs> they, yeah they, yeah they, they, because, you know it was uh you know you're not not throwing shade at the microsoft one at all but right. it was just like watching that as compared to watching this it was a shorter tighter mm-hmm. and also mm-hmm. it was just like yeah like you said all killer no filler yeah so absolutely nice. yeah anyways next dishonored 2 dlc you played mm-hmm. a bit of dishonored 2 I you like the game I like the game. Yeah, yeah. I, I do. I think it's really good. I didn't beat it. I got because I switched to the PS4 Pro, as you yeah, remember, yeah, yeah. and I lost my huh. save, uh, which is very annoying. <laughs> yeah, but um, I might go through it again because it's a short game, um, or it could be really long, but um, yeah. it's a relatively short game, and I might go through it again just to do the DLC because the DLC looked dope. That trailer was awesome. Yeah, it was a great trailer, really. Um, shanties. The shanties. 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 And what I do like Put about it is the shanties. I think they know the that, that people don't, re- like, not a lot of people are playing Dishonored. Not a huge yeah. number. And so they, I think it was, the game did a little bit less than they thought it would. Yeah. And yeah. it was just a short trailer. It was mm. tight. And it was it just looked cool, I thought. They did mm. a good job making it look good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I was into it. It, was a, it. it looked pretty cool. And mm. I don't even play that game. I'll have to give trailer. Dishonored uh, another, another shot because it wasn't. So good. I, it wasn't that I didn't. I was like, I, it's not like I actively did not like it. I mm-hmm. just, I don't know. It just didn't click with me at the time. For me, it's like like everybody's like this, a lot of people have the same complaint. It's like like oh, we don't really like the world and mm. stuff like that. Like they, they really want you like to it. get into the world and like I was like, no, I think the gameplay is like the best mm. part of it. Like if you See, that's that's the way you have to sell it to me because I don't like the world. The, the <laughs> like the level design yeah. in its own in Dishonored Two especially is fucking insane. Mm-hmm. Like, you could go through the same area four or five times and not see the same thing. That's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. It's awesome. <laughs> Some Deus Ex shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Next. The the big one, or one of the big ones. Um, or, well, I don't know. I didn't mention Quick Champions. Well, so, yeah. But, we're, we, we don't really play that. But. Yeah, we don't, we don't play PC. Yeah, but, yeah. Really not the person to be looking towards for this. <laughs> generally not really a competitive shooter mm. person yeah. myself. I mean, other than Overwatch. Is uh, yeah, cool. it's like I play Overwatch. Yeah, just like everybody much. else. <laughs> I barely even consider Battlefront a competitive shooter. Yeah, yeah, it gets competitive, but we're not we're not on that level. But those obviously. are the only two games for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, next, the Evil Within two mm. lengthy trailer, beefy. Oh my beefy. god, exciting! There was a lot in that trailer. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if you played the first game, you'll notice a lot of things in that uh, trailer that, in my opinion, kind of uh, not necessarily like discounted the rest of the story of the game besides the ending, mm-hmm. but pretty much said, that doesn't really matter that much. We're kind of moving away from that. We have a more compelling story, we feel, here. Mm-hmm. So we're going to take the one thread from that game, which was, you know, the uh, all, all of the shit that really isn't explained that well in the first mm-hmm. game, or not meant to be explained, you know, not knock against it. But uh, we're going we're gonna to take that, and we're going to kind of incorporate it into the storyline where uh, his daughter's still alive, mm-hmm. I guess, right? And um, I'm into that. You know, it, the story in the first one, really messy, really weird, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not going to spoil the ending of the game. It's not really old enough yet. I'm trying to remain vague here, but, um, it yeah. Feel, like, when I played Evil Within the first time, I mean, I only played it once while I was the first time. Well, yeah. when, I, when I played it, um, it felt very, like, like, ooh, the story, it feels like it's, like, poorly translated and, like, huh. Yeah, I don't know if it's weird. I don't, I don't even know if it's that. I just think it was just very Japanese in its presentation. Yeah. Right? And I say that as it was just kind of a mess. It was just disjointed. It was disjointed. It, 
didn't really feel like it was there for any other reason than to facilitate all of these cool moments. Still a good game. Yeah, I thought it was. I love that game. It's one of my favorite games of the generation so far. So like, I'm into this new direction they're going in. And mm-hmm. we did see a little bit of gameplay at the end there. Oh my god! Like, game what books. a step up from the original one. Like, yeah. I I think it's because um, it was a PS3 and Xbox 360 game also. So like, it was kind of had to. They had to step back a bit with mm-hmm. that one maybe. Right. And. I just see it as like maybe looking better than it did. Mm -hmm. But when I saw the gameplay of um, this one, really good looking game. Like, of course, the uh, design of all the monsters looks really awesome. Um, Different, some different imagery in this one, too, than what they focused on the last one, which was a lot of like barbed wire and, Mm -hmm. you know, uh, run down villages. It looked like there was some um, like haunted mansion type settings in that one. Mm -hmm. And uh, they kept on focusing on this like white. Yeah, that, oh, goo. yeah, yeah. That Which sure. looks cool. That, I'm milk. into that. The milk. <laughs> yeah, the milk. The milk. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm really excited. It looks good. Yeah. Uh, it just looks really good. Should I play uh, Evil Within? Evil Within? Yes, you should. Yeah, yeah I think I'm going to replay Evil Within. Do, wait, do you have it? I do have it. Oh, you do have it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. All right. Yeah, I think you could definitely get into that. Uh, the DLC in that game is also great. I haven't played the DLC. They're like their own separate kind of stories. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. They, they give a lot of context to some things. It's a cool game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it is a really cool. Either. Spooks. Mm-mm. No. Um, it's a tough one, too. Yeah. Like, like that game it gets pretty hard if you play it on one of the harder difficulties. Mm. It's really refreshing. I, I played it on, uh, on normal. Ah. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to do any of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, Wolfenstein 2. That was the big one, mm. right? Where I was, mm. I was very excited when that came on because uh, I loved the presentation of the first one and I thought it did some like really interesting things cinematically as well as like having great gameplay, mm. right? What, was, what did Pete Hines say at the end there? He's like, oh, we'll sign in too, you know, f- uh, fusing a great story is with great gameplay, which is like something that games just miss so often. A lot of like time, they always yeah. lean one way or another, but I feel like Wolfenstein, the new order, uh, my favorite game of 2014 probably. And it fused that, like the two so intuitively mm-hmm. where it was never like the cutscenes at most were 10 minutes. Mm. But they were always really, really, really well directed, and really well acted. Mm-hmm. And when I saw that trailer, right, and they showed what they did with, um, you know, him like waking up in the beginning mm-hmm. and whatnot, and and all this stuff, you know, br- bringing back all the characters from the first game, that dope ass helmet he has, yeah, yeah, <laughs> introducing some new ones, like some of the dialogue and stuff. I was like. The New Order now just feels like a proving ground for what they're doing there, if that's the whole game. Yeah, I remember, you know? like, the thing that New Order did that, like, like no first-person shooter does mm. is make the characters likable. Yeah. Yeah, like, sure. uh, makes, like the, the main character, B, uh, yeah. BJ. BJ Blazkowicz. Yeah, and, uh, you know, his cohorts, his crew, because he's on, a, he's on mm. a, like a, like a ship. Okay. Most oh, of the time, yeah. so you have a crew, and uh, the crew is like crews. very likable. Yeah, and uh, you know, good people. You get, I'm a fan of you get sad when uh, I remember there's a particular death uh, in that yeah. game that made me really upset. But yeah, those are. Um, yeah, no that that was the first game I like. I said it's the first game I played on the PS4 and was oh, instantly nice. taken aback yeah. by how good it looked. And I remember like, how good it felt. I was trying to get you to play it for a long time, and you played like the intro, and you're like, "That wasn't good." And I was like, "I know it's not, but the rest <laughs> yeah, is yeah, so the, the, good." The intro is messy. Um, you had lent it to me before I got my PS4 because I knew I was going to get it for Christmas. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really feel like buying games. I don't really feel like asking. And you were just like, play this. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I was like, ah, fine. Because I was going to play it on the 360. But you're like, no, now's the time. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I played through the first little bit. It was a little messy. But then you just get into it. And it's Word. like, like yeah. some of the, the uh, never, never before have I felt so satisfied killing anything in a game. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude watching watching the trailer, like, I've never, I don't know much or, of anything about Wolfenstein, but then watching the trailer, I was like, yo, I'm going to play this game. There yeah. I'm going to play this game. <laughs> There's that one shot of him walking down the hallway with, like, the two shotguns, and he's just mowing yeah. people. Oh, out. yeah. Like, what the fuck? Dude. Oh, man, that shot where he has, he, like, yeah. like feels the axe, and he, like, stabs oh, yeah. the guy's ass. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> and he pulls his body. Yeah. yeah. Some incredibly nuanced stuff in that trailer, too. Um, like, when they were having the conversation, he's like, he's like, I don't trust a man who could take down his whiskey. You know what I mean? Just, and yeah. He <laughs> sips that shit down, right? And then uh, he calls him a yellow belly. He gets offended. But yeah, in the, yeah. the yellow. entire time, right, there is a guy playing clarinet in the background while somebody's <laughs> sniping out the yeah. window. I don't know if you guys saw that. I did. I called oh, yeah, But I, I was that, just yeah. like, oh, my God, this game has... 
fucking character, dude. Uh, and like, that, like, the part uh, where the Nazi going into the, the diner. Right. Yes. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah, that, was, that was really cool. And, it, like, that was interesting to me because it showed that the uh, even though it's been a while, like, the Americans are still resistant to, like, the Nazi occupation, mm-hmm. which is, like, such a weird thing to be, like, bringing up in, like, this stupid, yeah. silly-ass game. Yeah. But it's, I mean, I guess if it, it's an alternate history scenario, mm-hmm. and if yeah. it were to happen... I mean, I get, it's interesting to just see like the in, in, some insights to this. What's like the that. Um, significant? What's the time period? Oh, uh, this one's kind of current. It's yeah, like, like, modern it, it, day. It's, it, it's basically the the concept of Nazis won World War Two. Yeah, right. But I wasn't sure if it was like relatively soon after or if it's, it's either like supposed to be current or in the future. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's so it's been a long time because there's a yeah, lot of yeah. like crazy technology. I mean, mm. the, the 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 famous final boss fight of the first one is mm. fighting uh, mechanized Hitler. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've yeah. heard of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's um, it, it's got to do with uh, like you know everybody talks about German engineering. Like they had, really did have the best engineers mm-hmm. back then, and uh, if they were to get away with everything they wanted to do, mm-hmm. right? This is. Uh, assuming what some kind of fucked up shit we would get, and, yeah. like, uh, but it, it does have like occult elements. Yeah, it. I was just about to say, yeah. don't they have like occult stuff? Like, yeah, because yeah. like Hitler was really into the occult, right? Uh, and yeah. this is also if the occult shit was real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's but really it, cool. It's shit. just such a good like. It's like the best concept for a video game. Yeah, ever. I love it. But yeah. I just can't believe that like they've been allowed to go down this direction with, like, this dialogue-heavy, like, very inc- well-directed cutscenes and stuff like that. Like, mm-hmm. oh, my God. Like, those cutscenes were incredible. Even at the end where they were showing, like, the leader of the resistance, right, who um, is, like, all fucked up on acid, <laughs> and they have that, like... Um, yeah, that's funny. I don't even know what technique that is, but, like, I've never seen a video game, like, put in, like, a little tiny cartoon character. Yeah, yeah. Like, and yeah. I was like, oh, my God, is that the fucking game? Or is this, yeah. like, just a little thing for the trailer? And yeah. it's like, no, that's the game. No, 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 yeah. Oh, my God, dude. It looks very good. It does. Like, I can't wait for the fucking it's like, game. Uh, like, a what real style. October? October 27th. Yes. 27th. Now, this was, like, one of those moments where I realized they could have showed these last year, and they could have gotten away with it, and people would have been excited then, too. But, like, at the end of the press conference, hearing Pete Hines so fucking proudly say, <laughs> everything we showed will be out this year. It's yeah. something they definitely pride themselves on now, yeah. Yeah. is being really prompt with their announcements to the mm-hmm. like, games out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It you does know, well for them. No one it does. No, I'm excited. That's so much dude. better than getting stuff like this, like, a year out. For like, a all the stuff at Microsoft. Like, oh, it was just, like, stuff that, you know, 2018, I not be able to 2018, play that yet. Yeah. Dude, oh. it's like, in four months, I'll be playing The mm-hmm. Evil Within, too. Yeah. Exciting. Same, same thing with Wolfenstein. Yeah, same thing with Wolfenstein. Two weeks apart from each other. Yeah. And they, oh my and they god, Skyrim on uh, Switch. Yeah. Uh, dude. Oh, dude. Uh, all right, brief moment on Skyrim for me. Right, I don't like Skyrim, but that shit looked dope. And just like the fact that, like, one of the things they I they, love... they put that they could have just ported it. They yeah, could have no. just ported yeah. it. They didn't. Dude. All right. Look. Amiibos. Something we something that <laughs> I want to sell you on here with Skyrim. I know that you are sold to play it on Switch. Yeah, I'll all right. play it on Switch. Skyrim is jolly as fuck. It is all very right. jolly. jolly. It is. It's, it's jolly. Okay. All right, you're thinking in terms of oh, this is just a run of the mill Western uh, RPG. I don't it's like that stuff. not. It's not, dude. There's right. so many like whimsical moments. Yeah. When you uh, if you t- take a look at the game, it doesn't look very jolly. Yeah. But when you're playing it, like yeah. the moments and I'm the, inter- the yeah. interactions, I'm the weird kind of awkward jolly. conversations you have with people, jolly. hilarious, hilarious. All right, if it's jolly, I'll report There's back like, and yeah. I'll tell you if it's jolly. Hilarity I will be the one who decides if this game is jolly. Enemies that are like you know kind of doofuses. And, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, dudes. All right, dudes. I love the dudes, dude. I t- <laughs> there was a moment before the press conference where I totally convinced myself maybe they'll like work off the dude meme and just do some DLC where you play as the dude guy. <laughs> <laughs> like I could totally see them doing that. <laughs> like you see, you saw how jolly that press conference is. They're just having yeah. fun, right? Yeah, I love like, the Bethesda I, land thing. Yeah, that was, I, that was so cool. Yeah. I th- and I loved all the animations. I loved that intro to the Wolfenstein trailer. Right. I was like, all right. Oh yeah. This yeah. has to be Wolfenstein, right? Yeah. And then the giant mechanized dog came out. Mm. Yeah. That was, that was great stuff, man. Liesel or Liesel. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, send this out. Yeah. We all feel pretty good about it, I think. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that Carl was definitely a good perk up from Microsoft. Didn't even play the big games, and he's excited. I know. That's yeah, how good it, it was. convinced me to to get onto Wolfenstein. Yeah. yeah. So that like mix of cutscenes and gameplay 
worked so well for them, mm. I think, because it showed, oh, the game looks cool, and it's got a pretty good and, uh, story. They, they go basically had the same trailer for Evil Within and Wolfenstein, yeah. just like kind of vignette of like you know story cutscenes and stuff, and then like really sick gameplay display yeah, at the dude. end, and they were both awesome. Yeah, they were both awesome. Very I'm different. Gonna, but, yeah, I'm gonna watch both of those trailers again. <laughs> I am excited. I might uh, might happen to pop in Evil Within again. Ooh. No. Get Ooh. Hyped, get and I, I'll probably do the same thing for Wolfenstein, but it's really yeah. short. Yeah, that one's not a big commitment. Um, also, I do have the Platinum in Wolfenstein. I played in an Uber difficulty, and I got all the collectibles. Just uh, did all the challenges, too. Nobody's, nobody's counting. Anyways, so that was it. That was our thoughts on the, the press conference. We're pretty high on it. We're going to be here doing the other ones eventually, even though they happen tomorrow, but we can't do it tomorrow, but we'll do it on Tuesday. You guys going to be around Tuesday? Uh, possibly. Yeah, possibly. possibly. Yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah, I don't know. We might. We might. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, and it's now. <laughs> we'll, we'll get them up. We'll get them up. Just keep coming back. Give us yeah. a sub. Anubis from the slums. We've been doing really, really, really well, actually. Mm-hmm. So I'm proud of that. We love you. We love you. We love do you. love. If you're watching this video, we do love you. Yes. And that's like not even uh, me just being an asshole. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> right? Yeah, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is it's genuine legitimate. feeling. Yeah, it really is. It's genuine. a great feeling when we when we hear from you guys. Yeah, no, we do. Yeah. We do. We love getting comments and stuff. Like we always respond. So if you ever have a thought on anything we say, I will, even if you're being a dick, I will respond yeah. to you. Yeah. You can say both of those games look like ass. And y'all I'll say. I'll talk say. To you. And y'all are ugly. That's, yeah, that's cool. Call, call us ugly. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Like, I'll be like, I mean, I think I have some pretty uh, redeemable features, especially. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. But we'll have a conversation. Yeah, yeah we'll I'll talk it, to we'll, you. We'll figure it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, until we come back here and we do the Ubisoft reaction, which I hope is a good one too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I hope they usually we'll don't do too well. Origins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so origins. Oh yeah. Five. Yeah. Hopefully, we can come back here and we can be as positive about them. And Sony, I just. I have faith in them at this point. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Can't imagine that, that that's going to be bad. Oh yeah. my God, if it is, this will be a long show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, that's that's a good indicator. Yeah. If it's a long show, probably we don't like it. But if it's a short show, probably did like it. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, that's keep, it for uh, us. Keep enjoying E3. Keep enjoying E3. We're enjoying it so good far. Stuff, good stuff. See you guys. <laughs>